The current thinking is that the way our brain operates is you learn something, whether it's a set of things you're memorizing or a new skill, and you need to sleep before you go at it again. And if you sleep, you've essentially cleared the hard drive, inputted it into, put it into the memory banks, and made more space for something new to learn. And if you don't sleep, you've never unloaded that. You don't have anywhere to put it. And so you can't take any new information in either. All of that takes place during our sleep. And so a normal night actually kind of helps you to install what you've learned. You can actually rehearse things. It's been shown you can rehearse things during sleep and do better at it the next day, even if you haven't had physical or mental practice. So when you go back at it the next day, you've got a serious leg up on somebody who hasn't had any sleep. So all-nighters, staying up till way out, you know, wee hours in the morning is not a good idea. Relative to getting a good night's sleep, you're much better off sleeping and calling it a night. You can think of sleep as a brain and body tune-up. During sleep, the body is getting restored. So things that happen, bumps, you know, bruises, little things that wouldn't normally bother us but could accumulate, get taken care of so that they don't bother us the next day. Um, so both learning, memory, all those things are getting uh, formatted, inputted, and the body is getting kind of worked out. During you know, all of the phase of adolescence, you have the additional process of puberty, and the body's growing. And that's exactly when the body's growing, at night. When you sleep less, or if sleep is interfered with, there are certain medicines, for instance, that interfere with deep sleep, they actually curtail growth. They make it harder for your body to keep growing. You need the, the sleep process itself and the hormones that are released during the night to make that all happen. And you know, for physical appearance, it makes a big difference if you're well rested, because that's when your body does the work of helping to restore you. So if you are sleep deprived, you tend to look it. You tend to look run down. You have a less uh, joyful appearance as well, but you're, you're physically, as um, people would say, looking haggard. So I think for girls that are trying to look their best, getting the rest that they need is probably high on the priority list. Whether they can get it or not is another issue, but it should be something they consider. If they're working on grooming, getting up an hour earlier is probably not as good as sleeping in the next hour. Our brain and our body are designed to do what we need them to do when conditions are allowing us to sleep. So if you learn something new on the field, if you learn some drill and you practice it all day long, as long as you can get some sleep, the sleep that your body and your brain need, it's going to naturally rehearse all of that, figure out how to put it into the right places of your brain so the next day your muscles are lined up and firing just the way they need to be to really do that, that drill or that practice the way it's supposed to be executed. And if you short your night of sleep, your brain's had less practice, essentially, less ability to input that knowledge. So it goes into the, into the trash. Mm -hmm.